got my life story or? Uh, my name is George Spooner. <laughs> when I was younger, my dad bought my brother like a pink old school skateboard with a big uh, fish tail and a, like a sharp front, like old school style. And my brother started skating that and being there as well, I got on it. And after that, my dad was always into longboarding and stuff, um, which is a more casual version. And from there, obviously, my own environmental influence from peers and my brother as well, um, just got into skating uh, through my childhood, mostly my dad's influence, I think. Why do I skate? It's like some some release of uh, environment. Oh, I mean, what's, what's the, what, what would you call it? Um, escapism. It's, it's a, 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 as a form of escapism. And then when I got to school, I found some other people who liked skating as well. I, I motivated them to get into it. Just go skating out like at night time at my local school at like two in the morning or whatever when no one was there. Um, and the summer holidays and stuff, and just spend hours up there skating, injuring ourselves and then carrying on. When we were younger, about 14, 15, my brother's mate, uh, dad, helped us build a skate ramp in our garden out of bits of pipe and old plywood we found. Uh, we built that, it took like a couple of weeks, and when we had that, we skated that, like, well, we, we could skate that every day after school and stuff as well. It's much better than trying to go back up to school and get kicked off by security guards. Yeah, it, it, it sucks and you do injure yourself a lot, but, I mean, any extreme sport defined by the fact that you're going to get injured at some point. Uh, long hair and stuff, I'm, I can't, I'll get judged on that in interviews and stuff or e even just existing and people tend to give strange looks as long hair but then mo modern days it's not too unacceptable for guys to have long hair so um, and again in uh, stereotypes uh, when I was younger I used to get you get shouted at by chavs or whatever and stuff Um, I, I couldn't lie and say it hasn't affected my appearance or whatever, buying a lot of my clothes from the same place I buy my boards and stuff from, not only out of ease but also I guess you get drawn into like the, the social and like appearance side of it a bit, because you see the pro skaters wearing this, you're like, oh, I'll wear that so you can, you can skate better, I don't know if it links up, but um, personality wise I feel it has affected me but I feel it probably has it positively, uh, not, yeah, freedom, mental freedom, confidence in myself, although I'm not very confident, I don't think, but uh, it's definitely improved it because you don't, if you don't fear face planting the floor, then you don't fear talking to people. Uh, and in fights or whatever, I've not been in many fights, but again, it, it's all just personal confidence levels. Well, I, I personally feel that there is a, a skating community locally to myself um, and, in, and to every skate park as well, and also just skaters as a whole, they will understand uh, every, every life lesson skating teaches you and just the, the joy of skating, like they can all have this in common. And you can, I find that you can get on with another skater. If you're like rubbish at skating, you go to a skate park and you see some doing crazy stuff, you can go up to them and ask them like, how the hell do you ollie or how the hell do you vary or? And they'd be like, like this man. <laughs> and they're just like, okay, <laughs> you can learn from them. They're, people are always happy to help. Yeah, I've got a job. I work full time at a race preparation company in Wokingham. After college, I was looking around for work for a while and my dad was like threatening to kick me out because no money and not contributing to the, the world or something. And I now work here at Autocross full time. I'm more of a odd boy sort of bitch of the workplace because, well, that's what I am. <laughs> At college, I did a national BTEC diploma in motorsport mechanics. And for my FMP, final major project, I had to do, uh, I had to do an actual project. I had to build, uh, I could set my own brief. And I chose to build a certain spec of rally car for a local rally. Um, my nan died and left me five grand. So I threw quite a lot of that into that, but I still haven't finished it to date yet. My end goal for the car is to get it into uh, well, the local rally, Tempest, um, compete in that. It doesn't really matter how competitively, although I previously have previous racing experience, so I think I could be competitive. I would definitely say there's a link between uh, driving and skating and the fear of adrenaline which can be produced, but uh, sensationally it doesn't quite compare. Um, I find skating actually more relaxing. My dream job since I was little would be to ideally be a driver for WRC, World Rally, but uh, in reality, I'd happily just be a mechanic or something because that'd be sick. Just getting to work on the cars and just being in the environment. Future plans. Uh, I want to work for the next year or two and then I want to go traveling. Aim to meet more people who skate and are nice people and just float along with them. <laughs>